Putin have you panicked? As long as they remain far away, it is possible to overlook the tragedies of the world, but with the war in Ukraine, it is getting harder. Not only is the fighting deteriorating the already precarious conditions throughout the world brought on by pandemic reactions, but Russian President Vladimir Putin has also threatened nuclear escalation, and US President Joe Biden has warned of the ensuing Armageddon. It serves as a somber reminder that ambitious people can endanger millions of lives when they have access to political authority. And if the situation worsens, it's a warning for each of us to do what we can to protect ourselves, our families, and our communities. Of course, we employ all available tools to safeguard Russia and the people who live there. This is not a bluff, Putin growled in a September speech to his nation. It was by no means the first time he and his administration have mentioned using nuclear weapons, always claiming it would be in retaliation for Western aggression. We will use every available means to protect the territorial integrity of our motherland, our independence, and our freedom, I reiterate. And those who are attempting to use nuclear weapons as a form of blackmail should be aware that the wind can shift and blow in their way. Biden clarified the White House's position last week when he invoked the prospect of Armageddon and said of Putin, he is not joking when he talks about the potential use of tactical and nuclear weapons or biological or chemical weapons. It's unclear how NATO, and particularly the US, would react because the matter is frequently contested. The Pentagon takes their potential use into account while making preparations. America also has tactical nukes in its arsenal. The sad area might continue to be the only location of the battle. Or perhaps not. It's a really dangerous gamble. Do we want to experience the aftermath shown in threads or the day after if rockets are launched? That is a matter of preference. However, those media productions weren't meant to demonstrate how to survive a war. Rather, they were made to argue against it. A nuclear exchange, according to some authorities, would be brutal but manageable. Even at the height of Cold War hostilities, Carney highlighted that a nuclear exchange was unlikely to result in Armageddon. Strategists would probably place more emphasis on military targets rather than wasting warheads on cities. For residents of the surrounding areas, that is still bad news. The planning guidance for response to a nuclear detonation, updated in May of this year, illustrates just how dire things are. FEMA continues, with careful planning, many lives can be saved and injuries can be mitigated, even in an attacked city. Get inside, stay inside, advises FEMA, if you're at or near a target in order to survive. If you can, go to the area of the building that is closest to the interior and lowest level. Nuclear attack-specific fallout is a worry, although the risks it poses even quickly disappear. The specifics of what you should be ready for are difficult to forecast as global tensions rise. But the past few years have shown us that the world and those in positions of political power are capable of throwing many curveballs. It makes logical to prepare for life after the conflict in Ukraine escalates and perhaps one day will control governments to lessen the possibility of future catastrophic disruptions brought on by human activity. In order to protect yourself with a certified guide, just click on the link below the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for life-changing content and hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.